What's up guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit the subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber or a new subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to jump right into this story because it's very, uh, it's unsettling. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Last week in Griffin, Georgia, Spalding County to be exact, an armored car guard coming out of a Ross was robbed at gunpoint by three men. Someone followed them, a witness to the crime followed them and brought uh, sheriff's deputies to them where they were apprehended. But there's a twist to this story. With these three dudes doing this crime, they also had a four-year-old child in the car. Yeah, I said it correctly, a four-year-old little boy. And uh, before we really get into this, I'm going to play this video clip, you know, give you a little backstory on, on the situation. We'll come back and talk about it. Let's hit it. We have new information tonight on last week's armored car robbery in Griffin. Fox 5 has the video of Spalding County deputies arresting the three armed men, recovering more than $300,000, as well as making the heartbreaking discovery of a four-year-old little boy in the getaway car. Fox 5's Doug Evans has that story. Back up towards me. Back up. Back up. Back up. It was an eyewitness to the armored car robbery who would later identify himself as a former cop who'd followed the black sedan and reported it to 911. That led Spalding County deputies to this moment. With the car surrounded and their guns drawn, they began the process of taking the three men into custody. All right, walk backwards towards the sound of my boys. Keep coming. Keep coming. The three armored car suspects have been identified as Jonathan Way, Lakeith English, and Maurice Lewis. The three men are accused of holding up the driver of an armored car at the Ross store in Griffin. As we reported, an eyewitness followed the car, allowing Spalding deputies to close in. A tense takedown of the three armed men ended with this moment when a child came running to the safety of waiting officers. This kid, this kid, this kid, this kid. Small child. Here's the view from a different deputy as they moved in on the car. You ready? Watch the kid, watch the kid. They say clear, got a rifle in the back. Inside the car, deputies say they found $365,000 in cash, three handguns, and an assault rifle, which they say they located in the back seat where the four-year-old had been riding. I've gotten an update from Griffin police on that four-year-old little boy. Still no word on why he was with the men during the robbery. He had been turned over to defects, but is now with a relative. Okay, guys, that was the story. And um, the three men identified Jonathan DeMont. The Keith English and Maurice Lewis. All of them are charged. What I forgot to tell you is that the FBI is involved and may take the case, which is most likely going to happen. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people don't know this. When you go out and you rob a armored car, you get way more time than a simple armed bank robbery. So basically going into a bank demanding money at gunpoint, you get less time in jail, in federal prison, than you do robbing an armored truck. That's just some uh, food for thought, some notes a lot of people didn't know. Now they ran up in the raw store, but well, they ran up and, and it costed the driver coming out the raw store, took the money. And we see a lot of these uh, armored car heists now. I don't know if it's movie motivated or whatever, but I mean, you got to have a lot of balls to do this. My thing is this. You had a child with you. Now, me, honestly, the reason why I think that child was in the car. And I mean, the details that come out later on. But this is just me going on just what I've seen with the story so far. I think that's the son of one of these uh, guys, girlfriend. He probably was babysitting the kid. They came up with a plan. He had to take the kid. They thought the plan was foolproof. It'd be in and out, get the money and go, leave the kid in the car and run back to the house before anything happens and anybody knows the otherwise. 
And I'm going to tell you something. These people right here, these three dudes are assholes. They have no, they had a total disregard of the life of that child. You got three grown men right here. None of them thought at one time, hey, this is not a good idea. We got the kid. We can plan this another time. I mean, if you're going to do crime, you're going to do crime. You know what I mean? If you ain't got enough sense to know not to do the crime, we'll say that for another video. But I just want to focus on this child. You robbed a bank or just any type of financial. Uh, you, you went and robbed, did a robbery with a kid in the car. Let's just put it like that. How irresponsible can you be? And this goes to show you that there are a lot of people out there, ladies, that don't give a damn about your kid. And I talk about that a lot because we see story after story after story every day. I could do just my channel on just crazy stuff like this about what type of dude not to be around or what type of girl not to mess with. It goes both ways. And it's a perfect example. Look at these dudes. You understand what I'm saying? This is the product of when a kid is younger. And they don't have enough male influence. Or if they do, they're very easily influenced to do dumb shit or they're enamored with dumb shit that other people do. That attracts them to that. These three dudes, I don't know them at all. They could have good parenting. But it's just something in motherfuckers that make them want to go and do stupid shit. No planning. it. You, you planned one part of it, but you didn't plan another part. That little boy could have got killed. Killed. Then when they pulled, got out the car, the little boy was in what? One of them little toddler car seats with a rifle next to him. What if he was, I mean, he's four enough, four, four years old. He's old enough. What if he uh, came out the seatbelt? And, and I'm sure they don't watch what they, uh, what he watches on TV and all this other stuff. What if he was curious when you get out the car? Because remember, sitting in that seat, he can't see behind him like that. What if he got down and grabbed the gun and came out with the gun and he got shot? Nobody thinks about this stuff. Total disregard for the life of children. That is the generation that come behind them. Them. You know what I mean? Kid ain't even ass. It looked like a white kid. Go back and look. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was a white kid. He might be light skinned. I mean, that's neither here nor there. But the thing is, you had a baby in the car. Whole different term. A three minute of baby. This is some stupid shit. This is sad. Sad. Now... The baby had to be turned over to defects. Can you imagine the mother? She probably at work because these bum ass dudes sitting at home getting master plans for their own destruction. She probably at home at work. Now she got to get a call from work. Uh, Man, we got your kid and uh, a robbery happened. And I'm going to tell you something. Even though she not there, guarantee you she getting interrogated and they, they threatening her with all type of will take your kid. You had these type of people around your kid and she probably don't even know the otherwise. And that's the thing. A lot of times these ladies get these guys and they come off as, oh, they trying to get on their feet and they, they throw this sob story and different things like that. And all of a sudden you got a criminal around your kid. I mean, just the total irresponsibility and just the not no wherewithal of the safety of the child is like beyond me. And I'm going to tell you something. I talk a lot about situations in the black community that affect us as a social group and give us a bad rep. This right here is a stain. People want change and all this. I'm going to tell you something. It will take generations for us to fix ourselves because not everybody going to be on board. Another thing, a lot of people going to have to be excluded when we start uh, trying to get up on our feet and and. and Gather strength as a people to be recognized in this country as assets ourselves. Motherfuckers like this got to go. Every brother ain't no brother. I talk about that all the time. Everybody that got the same uniform as you is not on your team. And we see it. We turn on each other in a split second over nothing. This is bad. Bad. And it makes us look bad. I mean... It's a baby in the car. I mean, the car could have flipped. A crash could have ensued. A shootout could have happened. And he's in a fixed seat where he can't even duck his head for the bullets. Because I'm going to tell you something. If somebody's bold enough to have a kid in the car like that, they bold enough to drive that car, crash it, and run for their lives. You see it all the time. 
Criminals do crazy stuff and other people get hurt for it. High speed chase. They crash head on into somebody else. As long as they can get out the car and try to run away, they don't care. Irresponsibility. Guys, leave me a comment, man. Tell me what you think. This is bad. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, excuse me, I just ate. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys take care. Sickening.